Hi friends, my name is Mahesh. I am from Kanyama Foundation, Surya Pet. Today I am going to explain a polarization. So let us start our class with the introduction of polarization. So friends, on the basis of phenomena of interference and diffraction, it was established that the light is a form of wave motion. Okay, but these phenomena, interference and diffraction, do not reveal the character of this wave motion, whether it is longitudinal waves or transverse waves. We know that in longitudinal waves, the particles of the medium moves like in to and fro direction. Okay, but in transverse waves, the particles of the medium vibrates like uh, in up and down direction. Okay, we can see the longitudinal waves in the case of sound waves, and also we can see the transverse waves in the case of uh, ripples on the water surface. Okay, then when the phenomena of polarization was discovered, uh, it was established beyond doubt that light waves are transverse waves. So it is clear now from the phenomena of polarization, light waves are transverse waves. Okay, next step, polarization of light waves. Friends, we already know that according to phenomena of polarization, the light waves are transverse waves. Okay, to prove this phenomena, we have an experiment. You can see the figure of this experiment. Here we are taking pair of two thermal crystals, P1 and P2, and also we are taking an ordinary light. We, know, we already know that he, this is the ordinary light moves in all directions. Okay, you can see the figure here. here. Thermal crystals P1 and P2 are arranged uh, parallel to each other. Okay, ordinary light, ordinary light passing the P1 crystal, and after crossing the P1 crystal, it is moving in only one side direction. You can see the uh, straight line arrow lines here. This is the polarized light. It means the light which has acquired the property of one-sidedness is called a polarized light. So this is the polarized light right now. This is also passing through the P2 crystal. And after crossing the P2 crystal, this light is also moving in one side direction. Okay. We can see the maximum intensity only in this case. Okay. Maximum intensity only we can see here. But in the case of figure B, here also we are taking ordinary light ordinary light passing through the P1 crystal and after crossing the P1 crystal, it is also moving in a one side direction. Okay, this is also polarized light. But in this case, we are rotating the P2 crystal in with a 90 degrees angle. It means uh, crystals P1 and P2 are perpendicular to each other. So there is no light of P2 crystal to see. So this is shows that we can see the inter minimum intensity here. We can figure B case intensity minimum intensity only here. So this is shows that light is a transverse wave motion. Okay. So next uh, representation of various types of light. First one is unpolarized light and second one is plane polarized light. Let us discuss about uh, unpolarized light. Friends, unpolarized light is also called as a uh, Ordinary light, it consists of a large number of vibrations in all planes with a equal probability at a right angles of the direction of propagation. Okay, you can see the figure of this uh, unpolarized light, it is also called as a ordinary light, it is moves in all directions. That's why the figure is looking like that. Okay, next one plane polarized light, we can see the two types of plane polarized lights here. You can see the figure B and figure C. We already know that in plane polarized light, vibrations are along a straight line. Okay. In the case of figure B, if the direction of the vibration is parallel to the plane of the paper, it is represented by the straight arrow lines. Okay. You can see the straight arrow lines. And the, in the case of figure C, if the direction of the vibration is uh, perpendicular to the plane of the paper, it is represented by the dots. Okay, you can see the dot symbols here. So, this is the representation of the various types of light. Okay, so friends, this is my class. Thanks for watching.